This five-story wooden raster house is a feast for the eyes, and it took 20 years to build. It's where all the rasters from this community reside. The co-founder says he built this house with the aim of teaching locals the true meaning of Rastafarianism, but more importantly, to house the Rastafarians who often feel ostracized by various communities. Would never find jobs because of, because of a dreadlocks. And when you are a dreadlocks man, first thing they, they ask you, they ask you about ganja. And they say, you must cut your hairs because your hair, I don't know if the hair can work or what, because you work with, a, with your hand, you don't work with your hair. So uh, as, our, as, as our culture, we can't cut our hair. Pupils are often turned away by schools because of their hair and Rastafari religion. But instead of whining, this community rallies around one another to ensure that they have a form of living, mostly managing small businesses for survival. Those rejected by their homes often find solace here. There was a fight that was happening at home, you see. So I ended I ended up here, you see. So now I stay here about four months now I'm here, you see. These Rastas here, they give you love, you see. They give you something that uh, other people can't give you, you see. And we, we learn more, you see, sister, because they see elders even here. So we listen when they speak. Dreadlocks are a sign of the Rasta faith. The length of their hair represents their wisdom and the years they've been loyal to their religion. The Rastas here hope to create jobs in the future for other Rastas who find themselves discriminated against. Yodison Jamela, CCTV in Pal, South Africa.